Welcome to Jim's Garage Toys and today just a quick little project. I bought some universal mud flaps that I am going to install on my 2017 Corolla IM. And I, I used to have some factory ones on that were molded for this, but when I put on the splitter kit, I had to take those off. So what I did is I just picked up some inexpensive universal ones and they will sit something like this. So that way I just get a little protection from the, the paint and the debris getting kicked up by the tire because the tire comes out farther than the lower fender. It's lined up with the top of the fender. So the idea today is to get these on. I made a template. So that way I can go ahead and once I get one side done, I can line it up and make the holes for the other. And this should work pretty good because I've got three places right here that I can go ahead and mount those into. So that should be more than secure enough. So I'll go ahead and get this mocked up. Spin it on that bottom one. There we go. Okay, that's pretty close. Now, let's see if I can make an impression on the bolt there. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see it, but I, can, I made an impression where the bolt head was right there and this is roughly where that bottom one is so what I can do is take out the bolt and then I can pop this Stiff little sucker. Man. It's crazy. Okay. This top one is actually a screw. It's funny. Three different. Well, I guess this one. No. It's 10 millimeter only. Sometimes they have Phillips heads in the middle of them too. So... All right, so now I just gotta go get a drill. I wanna drill some holes in it. Let me do that with this. That's why I made it. Perfect. Okay. So now I should just be able to punch a hole in it. Get my light down here. I can see. three holes. So now I can lay this on top and just drill. And I'll be set. Bill 
Phillips head. Right in the top hole. Perfect. Okay. Get a little view from the other side. Yeah, and I like that. Strip the wheel out and see how it looks. Oh, that is perfect. Look how it just lines up right with the edge of the tire. Couldn't be any better. So, and you can see how that will help protect it'll help protect that. Uh, paint there. So I'm going to do the mirror image of the other side and then we'll do the back. So I moved on to the back. Oops. Sorry about that. Moved on to the back and got three screws here. They're all Phillips head on this. So I put some chalk on this top one and I drilled my first hole which is this top one. This one's for the other, for the front. So I'll go ahead and take this screw out. And I think I can get to these, all three of these with this long screwdriver since it lessens the angle. So I'm gonna put of the other two screws and then once I have them I can just punch the other one the other side so and it is quite the easy project so get this level I tried to do it so it was about equal with the with the um, splitter lip that comes around the back there. Let's see if I can see the bottom one too. There it is. And this cardboard, since it's soft, it will leave an imprint on it. And I don't know where the other two holes are. Okay. There's my other two. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but there's an indentation there and one there. So let's go ahead and drill holes right where those are in the cardboard. Now, we can these three on and see if they fit right. Yeah. Okay. So we got all three. Let's check our level. Oh, perfect. Okay. We're golden. So let me take those three out. We'll drill the mud flap screw it on and now I know that these three holes will fit the other side too just in a mirrored position so you only have to fit one side 
but front and back are different, obviously. So you gotta do that to both. We have all three holes drilled. And now it's just a matter of putting the screws back in. Okay, that one's the bottom one. That's the biggest of the three. Oh. Realize one was still in the screwdriver. Those were nice and easy, especially since they're universal. Beautiful. Let's double check after we got. Make sure we're still close. Yep. Perfect. Nice. And I, I lined this up so it was right on the edge of the, I didn't want it sticking out beyond the, the uh, splitter lip. And it'll also protect that lip. I noticed it was getting chewed up from road debris. So, but, yeah, so, and it's nice and flat in there too. I, I, like I said, I can put another fastener on the inside. I, I don't think it's gonna need it, but I'll take a look after this trip and see how it does with roughly 4,500 miles. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my template. I'll drill the other side and screw it on and we'll be done. And I'll try to let me take this and I'll show you what it looks like from the side too. So, there you go. I didn't want any kind of rally, rally mud flaps, but it just takes up that and it's it's right with the tire so so we'll do the other side and we'll be good so here's a quick little shot a little more light to show off the mud flaps just a little extra protection so there's the rear there's the front one so more light now you can kind of see if I go right up to the edge you see how it lines up right with the right with the tire which is what I wanted I said I didn't want them sticking out I'm not big on that look but it lines up right with the tire same with that one this is awesome this is kind of a quick impromptu here's the other side I ordered them and they were less than twenty dollars, so simple, cheap protection. So for the size of the car. So anyway, just one last thing I wanted to do before taking off on my road trip. So now I feel like I got everything done that I wanted to. It's ready to roll. All right. Hope this helps. If anybody wants to do uh, some universal mud flaps. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> Hit me the like and subscribe button if you found this helpful. And we'll see you for the next one. Take care. Have a good one, guys.